Bill O'Reilly here, Monday, October 3rd, 2022. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. Vice President Harris says hurricane relief should be based on racial preference. The January 6th committee prepares its final report. Russia retreating in Ukraine. A new survey ranks the scariest towns to visit this Halloween. Also ahead, the fog permeating the White House. But first, Kamala Harris urging FEMA to distribute hurricane relief funds based on skin color. Said the vice president, quote, we have to address this in a way that is about giving resources based on equity. It is our lower income communities and communities of color that are most impacted, unquote. Spokesperson for Governor DeSantis in Florida rejects the rhetoric, quote, assistance is available for all Floridians, regardless of race. No surprise, the House committee investigating the Capitol riots will release the panel's conclusions before the midterm vote. The last televised hearings were scheduled for Wednesday, but are postponed now because of the hurricane. Lawmakers have been investigating the attack on the U.S. Capitol for 15 months. Its report will, of course, attack Republicans. Ukraine taking more territory from the Russian army. Putin's forces retreating from the eastern city of Leman. Despite the withdrawal, the Kremlin has annexed four regions of east Ukraine. Officials in Moscow claim the land grab is legal because it was approved by local votes. In response, Ukraine is now filing an emergency application for accelerated membership into NATO. A survey from Country Living magazine lists the best places in the USA to celebrate Halloween. Towns are judged by decorations, cool weather, spooky history. Top five, Pine Barrens, New Jersey, Independence, Kansas, Erie, Colorado, Salem, Massachusetts, and number one, Sleepy Hollow, New York. Visitors to Sleepy Hollow can take a tour of the Old Dutch Church, the inspiration for the Headless Horseman. Watch out for that guy. In a moment, it is getting downright spooky at the White House. Right back. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates are skyrocketing, as you know. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, predicting recession. So to protect your future, do what I did. Call the only precious metal dealers I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. You can get started with a short phone call. They will place physical gold and silver right at your door or inside your IRA or 401k. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Don't wait. You can call them now. 877-444-GOLD. 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. Strange times at the White House. The writer Hunter Thompson once said, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. And that's what's happening in the White House communications office. Jen Psaki was a spinner extraordinaire, but she dished it out in a way that was fairly rational. Now we have her successor, Corinne Jean-Pierre, and I have absolutely no idea what's taking place. You might have seen President Biden last week looking for a dead person, the late Congresswoman Jackie Walorski. Mr. Biden wanted to thank her for working hard to end hunger, a very noble gesture. Problem is, Ms. Walorski was killed in an auto accident about two months ago. Apparently, the president had forgotten 
and paced the stage asking for Jackie. It was bizarre and disturbing because Joe Biden holds so much power. So, of course, Ms. Jean-Pierre was asked about it, and her reply, and I'm paraphrasing, nothing of importance here. The president simply had Jackie top of mind. Now, I know the phrase, out of your mind. I know mind over matter, and I recently advised someone to be mindful. Top of mind? No. According to Newspeak, it means you are thinking of someone or something. Okay. But as a reporter said to Corinne, I have John Lennon top of mind just about every day, but I'm not looking around for him anywhere. Someone inside the White House invented top of mind, and Miss John Pierre threw it out there like it's as common as fries to go. In fact, we are living in an age when new cliches are invented all the time. Shelter in place. Transformational. It is what it is. Corinne loves them like kittens. However, verbal masking cannot hide. The big trouble this country is in. Two years ago, the USA had the most vibrant economy on earth. Today, it's heading for shambles territory, and Joe Biden has no clue how to reverse things or solve any problem for that matter. The Dow was down another 500 points on Friday. In words the White House might understand, it is what it is. Mr. Biden is essentially finished. Few Democrats running this year want him campaigning for them. California Governor Newsom is circling like a turkey buzzard. Vice President Harris is a cipher as she analyzes our alliance with North Korea. It is indeed a dark time in America as regular folks are getting badly hurt. Charles Dickens, an expert on departed apparitions, would be the guy to portray it in literature. This coming Christmas, late at night, Joe Biden and Corinne Jean-Pierre should have one image top of mind, the ghost of prosperity past. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. If you'd like more honest news analysis, hard to come by, please visit BillOReilly.com. And I hope you check out my new book, Killing the Legends, in a moment, something you might not know. Crisp fall temperatures are here. Sometimes you just need a little warmth in the house. My friends at Eden Pure have done it again. I recently got their Gen 40 superheater and cooler. It's perfect to warm the room without turning the furnace on. This heater will save you big money on your heating bills. Just what we need. Eden Pure is having a hard time even keeping them in stock due to high demand. Their products have multiple safety features built in and can be used around pets and kids. You can get $50 off the sale price when you use discount code BILL5050. With heating bills expected to increase, please hurry. Go to EdenPure.com, use code BILL50 to get $50 off. That's EdenPure.com, code Bill50 for a $50 savings. Shipping is free. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 27 years ago today, millions of Americans gathered around television sets to watch the conclusion of what is known as the trial of the century. After 11 months of testimony, it took a jury just four hours to find O.J. Simpson not guilty of murder. Here is the story. Football legend and actor Orenthal James Simpson married Nicole Brown in 1985. According to police records, the athlete physically abused his wife throughout the marriage. She filed for divorce in 1992. On the night of June 12, 1994, Nicole and her friend Ronald Goleman were stabbed to death outside her home in Los Angeles. After a high-speed chase on live TV... Simpson was taken into custody and charged with the murders. In October, 
Judge Lance Ito began questioning more than 300 potential jurors in order to decide Simpson's fate. According to first-hand accounts, the jurors' living conditions were miserable. To shield them from media, police removed TV sets, radios, and telephones from their hotel rooms. For entertainment, they were allowed to watch pre-taped episodes of Seinfeld, but all commercials were deleted. On October 3rd, 1995, the jury found Simpson not guilty of a murder. I was there. And here's something else you might not know. Quarter century after the acquittal, some of the main players are still around. Prosecutor Marsha Clark is now a successful crime novelist. Her partner, Chris Darden, still practices law in L.A. Lance Ito still on the bench. To this date, he has never spoken publicly about the Simpson trial. As for the accused himself, he was released from prison in 2017 after serving nine years for a botched kidnapping and robbery scheme in Las Vegas, not related to the murders. He now lives in Nevada, spending most of his time golfing. He owes $60 million in civil judgments related to the murders. O.J. Simpson did kill Nicole Brown and her friend. The evidence was overwhelming. He was acquitted, unfortunately, because of racial preferences. Back after this. Bill O'Reilly here. Vidgo, V-I-D-G-O, is a new streaming service that gives you live sports and programming you want at a price you can afford. With Vidgo, I get live sports networks, including ESPN and Fox Sports, along with incredible access to college football games, with 80% of every televised college football game in the first three weeks of September. 80%! Vidgo also has a great choice of news and entertainment program, including the first, Fox News, Newsmax, and more. On my new weekly program called Shock and Awe, exclusively on Vidgo, I'll break down the most important issues of the week, asking bold and fresh questions and sitting down for exclusive interviews with America's top newsmakers. For a limited time, when you sign up for Vidgo, you can also get a copy of my new book, Killing the Legends, free, and get $15 off Vidgo's premium service. So please go to vidgo, V-I-D-G-O dot com slash bill book. Sign up now. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. <laughs> 